I've washed my hands and gathered my supplies. My supplies for a bed bath would be two washcloths, four large towels, a bath blanket, a, another gown, and a linen bag. I've washed my hands and gathered my supplies. Hi, Mrs. Jones. How are you? Oh, I'm well. Thank you. My name is Linda, and I am your senior, and I'm here to do a bed bath on you. Would that be okay? Oh, yeah, sure. Great. Put in my bed. So what do you have planned for today? Well, they have a bingo tournament later on. Okay, great. Well, we'll get you ready for your bingo tournament. How are you, Mrs. Smith? Oh, I'm fine. Great. We'll be in just a moment. Sanitize my hands. That's the first thing that I do when I come into the room. Pull off the curtains. And since I will be using the rail, I'm just going to go ahead and raise up the side rail. my brakes to make sure my brakes are on. All right, Mrs. Jones, can I go ahead and move your personal items out of the way? Yeah, sure, probably. Great. And I need to go in your drawer to get your personal items. All right? Yeah. I'm just going to need your basin, soap, lotion, and deodorant. Some warm water. Clean paper towel, turn on my faucet, get warm water at 105 degrees, making sure that I do not cross contaminate by putting the basin inside the sink. Everything in the bathroom is considered dirty. Jones, would you mind testing the water to see if this is comfortable for you? That looks great. Great. Okay, Ms. Jones, I'm just going to raise your bed up because I want you to be at a comfortable working height so I don't injure my back. Such a beautiful day today, Mrs. Jones. Glad to get out of the room and get involved in some activities. That looks like a comfortable working height so that I'm not bending my back. And then sanitize my hands again. Right, Mrs. Jones, you're just going to pull down your blanket so we can get started. Blankets are really warm, keeps you uh, from getting cold, and also helps you absorb the water. I don't know about you, but I don't like wet sheets, so what about you? Oh, that is horrible. Makes you more cold. I agree. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to have you hold on to this blanket as I pull down your top sheet. Get it out of the way so it's not getting it all wet. Okay. There. I'm just going to go ahead now and put some gloves on. Okay, so let me wash my hands again before I put my gloves on. And I'm going to remove your gown.
make sure you always protect your dignity and keep you covered. Protect your dignity and your privacy. So still, you're going to start off with placing two barriers, one on your pillow to keep your pillow nice and dry, and then another across your chest to make sure you keep your back open. Alright, Mrs. Jones, here we go. So to wash your face, Mrs. Jones, you're only going to use plain water. You wouldn't want to get soap in your eye. And I love making mitts. Because that helps you get water from different sides. So with one finger, just clean it up, flip, and clean another. Would you like soap, Mrs. Jones, on your face? Sure. Okay, I'll just use a little so you don't dry your face out. Alright, I'm going to start side first with washing the face, forehead, face. Put that mat there. Mat to not loose your ear. Flipping it to your side, forehead. Towel, then we'll do the other side. Forehead, face, neck, and your ear. Alright, so let's get you nice and dry now. Alright. So I think I'll use this towel to uh, use as a barrier for your arm. I can scoot a little closer toward me, okay? Alright, so you don't want to get your bed wet, so these barriers are really good for keeping that bed nice and dry. Alright, a little bit of soap. You know, some people like a lot of soap, but we know how drying that can be on your skin. Alright, so let's get your shoulders, armpits, and work ourselves down. Fingers are there. Such nice, long, slender fingers. Okay, let's rinse it off. Here's some deodorant for you. And how about a little lotion? Oh, that sounds pretty. So just some lotion, warming it up, and working it into your skin. Alright. Let's remove the excess lotion so we don't chill you, Mrs. Jones. Sometimes lotion can be very cooling. Okay, let's move over to your next arm now. The arm that's closest to me. Alrighty. Hmm, okay, just a little bit of salt again. Here we go, let's wash. 
Are those grandchildren, Mrs. Jones? Oh, they're growing so fast. They are already 20 and 25. Really? I saw them the other day and I was just noticing how tall and quick they are growing. Oh, you're so proud of them. Yes, I am. All right, so we're done with that washcloth because, you know, we have to change the washcloth when we change our water. There we go. Put a little bit of deodorant on you. And some lotion. I'll make sure I warm it up in my hands before I put it on you. And I know how chilling lotion can be. Off the excess lotion. There. Alright, so I can get rid of this towel now since we're getting ready to change our water. Take off my gloves, sanitize my hands. Right, Mrs. Jones, I'll be right back. I need to get some fresh water. This water is getting cold and too soapy. Sure, I'll be right here. Great. <laughs> Make sure you, that I lower you all the way. I wouldn't want you to roll out of the bed and hurt yourself. Okay, so back to the bathroom I go. Okay, just pouring the water, the dirty water, into the toilet. Paper towels go on the back of my toilet as a barrier. Paper towel, turn on the faucet. Not necessary to wash the basin again, unless indicated. Good. Water temperature should be 105 degrees. It's quite comfortable for most of your face. Okay, Mrs. Jones, would you mind testing the water and make sure this is comfortable for you? Okay, oh, that's fine. Great, great, great. Alrighty. Now I'm going to start working on your chest, your abs, your legs, and then your feet. Oh, sounds great. I feel so squeaky clean. Oh, I'm glad. must be in between my hips and my waist, so that's a good working light. So again, sanitize my hands after I come off the controls and apply gloves. Ms. Jones, I'm going to need that barrier that's on top of your pillow. We're going to spread that across your chest, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Use this place across your chest and then we're going to move that bath blanket down to your down to your pubic area so we don't get the bath blanket all wet while still maintaining privacy. Alrighty. Mrs. Jones is going to lift up on this towel. Okay, great. You don't have any signs of rashes, lumps, bumps, or bruises. Everything looks okay. Down to your pubic area. Rinsing. Patting dry. So Mrs. Jones, I'm not going to put lotion on your chest, breast area because lotion can create a warm, moist environment where you can, have, uh, you can develop an infection. All right, to your legs. 
Next furthest away from you first. in between your toes. between your toes. And pat dry. Dry really well in between your toes. Again, we don't want to create a warm, moist environment where the darkness will contribute to some type of infection. All right, Mrs. Jones, we're gonna put a little lotion on you. Being careful not to massage your legs. Did you know that many senior citizens have blood clots forming in their legs? And if I would massage it aggressively, it could cause that blood clot to break loose and travel to your brain or your heart, as well as your lungs. Being very careful not to put it in between your, your toes, as I said. All right, pat dry the excess off. Moving on now to your other leg, the leg that's closest to me. Did your mom ever teach you, Mrs. Jones, when you were a little girl, never to cross over clean areas? Well, that also applies in healthcare, too. Now, always be mindful not to cross contaminate. Jones, we're almost done with your legs. Okay. Don't need that towel anymore after your feet. Okay. A little bit of lotion. it up and just gently rubbing it onto your skin being careful not to massage it not getting in between your toes removing the excess lotion I'll be right back. You just have your bath to do, or your bed bath. 
and then we'll be done. the dirty water into the toilet, being careful not to splash. Clean paper towel, turn on my faucet to get warm water at 105 degrees. Never touching the basin inside the sink. Testing the water to make sure it's comfortable for you. Oh, yes, it's fine. Great, great, great. Jim, you want to raise your bed up to a comfortable working height? Not straining my back. Okay, wash my hands again and apply gloves. Mrs. Jones, here, I want you to be a little closer to me so that when I roll you over, you're not too close to the edge of the bed. I don't want you to fall out. So bring that hand above your head and using the pad, let's roll you over. Okay, so make sure your head is on that pillow for comfort and that your body is in the middle of the bed for safety. There, it's going to be propped with your leg out in front of you. We'll keep you in place. Okay, Mr. Jones, put your barrier here so you can do your back. Okay, my last barrier, my third towel for your back. Jones, if I didn't get your neck back your neck this time, I can do it now. So stop here. Just let your buttocks doesn't really include that in your peri care. you're looking forward to this. So again, warm up my lotion. I'm starting at the base of the spine. I go up to center with long strokes and circular motions along the borders. Long stroke up the center, circular motions along the borders. How's that feeling? Oh, it's just amazing. I know I love back rubs too. All right, so three to five minutes later, we're gonna pat dry the excess lotion. Remove the barrier. Take off my gloves. Sanitize my hands. Okay, Mrs. Jones, you can roll back now. Okay, roll your back. Well, let's get your gown on you. Here's your new gown. Make sure your hands are snapped together. Okay, great. Let's check those fingers so we don't hyper extend them.
Mrs. Jones, hold on to this sheet. I'm going to pull this bath blanket out from underneath you. If you do it this way, it keeps you covered still, protecting your privacy. So let's make sure you are in good body alignment. Down, let's pull down from the thighs. You're in good body alignment. Let's go ahead and make a pillow. Is there anything else that I can do for you while I'm here at the bus driver? All right, let's lower your bed. These brakes are still on. I always want that call light within reach. All right, and Mrs. Jones, I just have to clean out your equipment and then we'll be closing out. So this time I need gloves to clean my equipment before I wash my hands. Apply gloves. always have to wear gloves to clean our equipment. All right, pour the dirty water into the toilet. Place a clean paper towel on the back of my toilet so I can sit in my clean basin there when I'm done. And then begin to wash my equipment. So cleaning with soap. And drying. Always in that order. Wash, rinse, and dry. Now that it's nice and dry, I can sit it on my paper towel barrier, take off my gloves, wash my hands. For this purpose, I'm just going to use sanitizer. And then with a clean paper towel, turn off my faucet. Pick up my barriers. Okay, okay Mrs. Jones, everything is all nice and clean. We're just gonna put your personal belongings away. my hands, pick up my lean bag, and I'll see you in two hours when I do my round.